everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Maokai Mill. That's right, we're going to be playing a control deck where we are going to be trying to mill the opponent out. We're building our deck around uh, this champion right here, Maokai. If you haven't seen too much Maokai, um, basically this level up, this is going to be the important thing. We had to have units die 25 times or cards tossed 25 times to level up Maokai. And then when Maokai is leveled up, we obliterate the entire enemy deck, only leaving four non-champions. All right, so that's kind of, that's what we're going to try to do. Try to level up Maokai and then obliterate the enemy deck, leave four non-champions left, and then they only have a couple of turns to kill us after that, and hopefully we can stay alive. So we need we need uh, 25 things to either be tossed or died, and that's why we're going to be going in over with Sharima with Azir, because Azir, whenever we attack, we get the Sand Soldier that's attacking. And it's like the Sand Soldier that's attacking, each time we do that and get that Ephemeral Sand Soldier, um, that's another, you know, it's Ephemeral, it's going to die. That's another unit that we have dying. And so like that will count towards our Maokai level up. Like each attack, that's an additional one. Same with like Doomkeeper bringing that Sand Soldier over here. Those are more Ephemeral bodies dying. And so that should help Maokai out. So right, it's like the... Yeah, so basically that's what we got going on. Especially if like Maokai is in play and we get the sapling, we can attack with our sapling that then puts a um, a sand soldier into play attacking, and that's like a couple of uh, things that are both entering and dying for Maokai's level up. Um, let's see, Azir's level up should be pretty easy as well, since you know we should be getting a whole lot of units in play and only needing the ten units for that shouldn't be too bad. Of course, we're going to be Neverglade Collector also because we want to stay alive. So we want to be able to heal our Nexus. Neverglade Collector can help do that. And so each time those saplings come into play or the sand soldiers come into play and each time they're dying, that's helping our Neverglade Collector drain their Nexus. So that's kind of like our backup plan is draining them to death. A whole lot of card advantage because we're going to need a lot of bodies because we want we want to play a lot of stuff, have them die. So we got Spirit Leech, Glimpse Beyond, Stalking Shadows, all that kind of stuff. We got some toss with Sea Scarab, Thorny Toad, and Dead Bloom Wanderer. Um, and then we also have some spells for removal. We got a Withering Will, Spirit Fire uh, for people that are going wide and being all aggressive. And then decks that are going big. We got a couple of Vengeance and also a Ruination to reset. So we got a few spells for removal and some Black Spears because that card's amazing. All right, so that's our deck Azir, Maokai, Mill. We can like kind of be aggressive, go wide. And if, see if that works. If that doesn't work, we kind of sit back and obliterate their deck. Um, so we got a couple of different options here. So this won't be fun to play. Let's go and give it a try. Riven Quinn. That deck's a little different. Cool. Been, been uh, climbing with the Trundle Brom Demacia build. Awesome. Yeah, glad you're enjoying that. Yeah, that's... That's definitely what we do around here, right? Just, <laughs> we try to play everything. And I mean everything. All right, I like what we got going on here. We got Thorny Toad's a good card to Spirit Leech. We got Dead Bloom Wanderer, and then a, a Vengeance. Like, if they if they do go with, like, a real big Riven or something, having access to Vengeance, I think, could be pretty nice. Channel Point Prediction is up. Block, block, block. Hmm. He took it. If I do play Dead Bloom Wanderer this turn, it will get challenged by the Flea Feather Tracker. I only lose one mana by passing. Because they have a pretty poor attack right now. I guess they don't think they have a poor attack. Corruption everywhere. Thorny Toad OP. I'm cold, I'm <laughs> it is OP in the land of two ones and three ones that my opponent's going with. Oh, Arena Bookie. That card is awesome. 
We need to play more Arena Bookie, just in general. Such an underrated card. I like playing Arena Bookie decks. Uh oh. One mana short from the Vengeance. Yeah. Hey, Mind Splitter. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, Draven with Arena Bookie, definitely a great combination. Alright, let's get this Arena Bookie out of here. All right, definitely waiting on this Maokai a little bit. I can actually probably set up this Ruination if, if we choose. Surprising block. Guess they want that Blade Fragment. So how many Blade Fragments do they have in hand right now? Sure, how many of those are play fragments? Slow down, will you? Come on, play another unit. Do it. Quick attack. Shark Chariot. The Isles will bloom again. I mean, Shark Chariot does count as four for Maokai level up, right? It tosses two, and then we have two things die. And, uh, you know, we will be able to get the Ephemerals with the Saplings. They're built around that the whole time. Now we have the shark and the sapling dying for this thing. Now nah, I'm gonna be using. <laughs> Opponents probably think, "What the is this deck?" <laughs> You're probably right. Like, what is going on here? Oh no. Well, it's gonna kill my Maokai. Unfortunately. But I am getting. Cl so we're gonna need to draw the third Maokai. We're one short. Oh, we're one short of leveling up Maokai. Oh, yes, please do that. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Okay, even better. That's random. Alright, so we will have a leveled up Maokai. Okay, yeah, I guess this makes the most sense.
Because they're going to challenge and kill Maokai either way. But now we, you know, now we actually level, you know, we leveled up Maokai to obliterate their deck. That's why they, they kind of had to kill the Maokai first. Because of that. Alright, so they have two turns to kill me. Not a bad draw. Both Black Spear and Neverglade Collector were cards I would have liked to have. Alright, four mana, discard a card. Because we should have... Let's see, so yeah, four of those seven cards are champions that we have left in our deck. So yeah, so there, there's still three Azirs and one Maokai left. This is honestly kind of my safest play as far as staying alive goes. Because remember, like, so we should we should be drawing like into another Azir. That's what I was kind of thinking. Like Azir, Azir has a good champion spell here of like getting a bunch of blockers. Two Azirs and a Maokai left. I guess that'll do. We return to the sands for now. I need to keep that vengeance available. That rally got me. Yeah, I stalking didn't hit zero cards, but it does shuffle your deck, I guess, of some, because then we, you know, we drew into the Thorny Toad after that. That same turn. Twisted Fate Hecarim. I like our chances here. Again, I like our hand. Yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. There was, you know, always, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I think there was decisions that I could have made that maybe would have kept me alive. Tom, the journey ahead is long. But that was a good game. Yeah, I never had, like, a great opportunity for Ruination. Never had a perfect opportunity. Our deck's pretty cool. Wow. Wasting four mana. I'm all for that. Because obviously we just want to play a slow game anyway. Hecarim with the Overwhelm is what I don't want to see. Oh no, my poor scarabs that I care a whole lot about. So I'm going to take the four damage here because if I if I block, you like we want our our nexus to be damaged a little bit in order to heal too for these thorny toads, right? So I want to take the four. Oh, 
chains, they never stop! We did toss a bunch. Wow, Malkai's only at 7? I felt like we tossed a ton. Alright, so Azir's 8, attacking is 9. Gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna attack. Like, if I play Azir, they play Hecarim. Makes my attack a little worse. I think that maybe we should have three Neverglade Collectors. Neverglade did look really good last game, and just kind of how this game's playing out also, Neverglade seems like it'd be really good. So maybe that, instead of a 2 of, should be a 3 of. Ah, I really want that Vengeance. For Hecarim. Because the only, the only card in their, their deck, from, from just like looking at this, look what they played, Hecarim's the one scary card. Sure. Oh, uh, we we're not going to toss that much, but yeah. So we'll go back to 20. We could go Cask plus Glimpse Beyond. Or the Yeti Yearling. Yeah, so now our Maokai's at 21. So basically, once once we find Maokai, it's leveled up. Wait, I guess I want one mana five five. So let's. Okay, no, no, I had this in the right order. Okay, yeah. Because I want to sacrifice this thing first and put yetis into the deck and then sacrifice this thing. There's a the yeti. Oh no, they had a blocker. Still couldn't find a Maokai, though. Where are you at, Maokai? And two blockers. Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. Deal me in. Something for all. Glorious sacrifice. There's plenty of killing there. Arise. We're getting close to only having Maokai in his ear in our deck. Do I not have a shark chair yet? Was that last game? I guess that was last game. Destiny calls. It is time. Okay, that was last game. You're bluffing. Can't win them all. All right, so Hecarim and Harrowing. <clears throat> Those are the cards that I can't afford to see. Hecarim and Harrowing. So just play other stuff. Spearfire is good against sharks. Powder Monkey. You get three monkeys.
Sorry, Azir. There's his ear. So yeah, it should just all be champions left. Alright, there goes their deck, there goes all the Hecarums. We don't have to worry about that card. I guess I should have played the Azir first. I was planning on playing this Sat Magic. Like, they block and I Sat Magic. That, that was my plan. Maybe I should have just played the Azir. I guess I could have had, like, lethal potentially if I would have just played Azir. That's still potentially lethal. Wow. Well... Now we're in trouble. We're in a lot more trouble now. So we have one Azir, one Maokai left. Huh. I was not expecting that to be their last card. But of course, they, they have to kill me in two turns. So like that's the thing. It's like they have to kill me in two turns. So. Alright, let's draw the Azir. And now we'll be able to put... Um, okay. Let's see, we're going to be able to put the Maokai back to make sure we don't mill out. Karma. Last time I played against Karma and Noxus, they were playing Draven. This opponent's not playing Draven, but we got a Karma deck. Black Spirit does a good job of killing Karma, so maybe I keep it. I don't know what else. The, like I don't know what their deck's really going to be looking like. But that could be kind of cool, killing a Karma with a Black Spear. You think they're going Legion Marauders? I guess that could be a thing. I need just a moment. That's fine. What does he want from me? Yeah, I could see that. I could see Legion Marauders. Anyone hurt? Yeah. Legion Marauders, how about that? The desert by my side. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's do this again. Man, they're still not playing anything. <laughs> Let's attack for more. Getting pesky. Y'all think they're going to draw Pesky Spectre this very next draw? I think it's going to be the very first draw of Pesky Spectre. Alright, so that's 7 for Azir. Two Legion Marauders. The desert by my side. You should have run. Spears ready. Have you tried the turn your mana into random turret spell yet? I have not. I have not tried that one yet, Choo Choo. Have you? Has anybody else tried that? Get out of here! 
If you ain't hurt, you will be. So my plan is to vengeance this Legion Marauder. Alright. They're down to three. Good time for Neverglade Collector. Knowledge is wealth, and I am rich. Hmm. Seems only a three out of four. I'm surprised they played that instead of playing Legion Marauder. I mean, I guess they still can. They can still go with the return. But I'm a little surprised they even just played that as a three. You know, it's just a regular three-two. Spearfire, cool. More of those. Pretty sure that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Taking 18. <sighs> no, never glade. No, never glade. I mean, I kind of think we lose this. I think we're going to be losing this. Yeah, Marauders went a little out of control. I'm sure I probably... You know, like, the attack before, I know I threw away, like, a blocker. Maybe two, then I had, you know, used my Vengeance at a time. I, I think that if I would have just not made that attack and just played a lot more defense, then maybe that would have been better for me. If they're out there, I'll you know, just really just focused on defense more. Lethal. The cost. For them. Going someplace. If you ain't hurt, you will be. Glorious sacrifice. I guess I have the spirit fire. Does that keep me alive? I mean, if they have absolutely nothing, it would keep me at one. Absolutely nothing. You can stay alive at one. And then Thorny Toe gets us back to three. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was too aggressive and wasted blockers that I, you know, valuable blockers that I needed with the Marauders, right? Like a, that kind of that kind of matchup, I think, that um, I think lesson there is that I think I should have just kind of pillow forted up and just played all, all sorts of defense and, you know, with my sacrifice, you know, I didn't even get to use, like, my card draw and just kind of try to sit behind Maokai with with no overwhelm with those Legion Marauders. I need to just play more defense. So I could use the Vengeance on a defensive turn. Would have made life easier. Yeah. The turn that I attacked with everything and cast Vengeance while attacking, that was the turn I lost that game. Okay, Gnosis Rennington. Because, you know, we're a mill deck. That wasn't, yeah, that was just wasn't a good play by me. Let me keep all this. Definitely like Vengeance against both these champions. Those are champions that get really big and over, especially Rennington with the Overwhelm. Neverglade Collector has looked great. I think that that's the one thing, is I think that we should probably have three of this Neverglade Collector in here. It has looked great at... Um, you know, helping us stabilize, helping us stay alive, and then also draining the opponent with with the different stuff. I 
city proudly pledges itself to Sharima. What a shame for you! Huh. Didn't even uh, challenge my Sea Scarab. So I'm going to be playing Malkar right now because it's not going to be vulnerable right now. Next turn I do have Vengeance to kind of protect Maokai also. If they have any of those vulnerable spells. Yeah, so that's what it looks like it's going to happen. So let's just pass priority. Looks like they're going to use vulnerable spell. Challenge. And we vengeance. All right, good, good. So Neverglade Collector would be my best card. Uh, for draining, for like healing my Nexus, but as far as like tossing. I'm leveling up. Maokai. Five? That's it? I guess I haven't had anything die. Alright, so that dies, toss two. Oh man, each one of these does it separately. Uh, this is a long animation, too. Two. Alright, went from five to eleven right there with that attack. And I didn't play the Warden's Prey right there, because I'm planning on playing the Warden's Prey this next turn to help turn on the... Uh, or, you know, like, help this Maokai out. No, these Black Spears. I want those. Closer. You accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. This will clear up two spots. I know like this thing's ephemeral, but we want we want two spots, right? Because we want to be able to play something and then Maokai also make a sapling, right? So we want two spots. Plus, right now I don't have another thing to play, even though you know I do have these stalking shadows that should find me stuff. So this will level up Maokai. Okay, so now they only have four cards left. Hopefully, not very many champions over there. I think I'm gonna pass. Have them waste all that mana. <laughs> I guess I only have five cards left. All right, so I guess yes. Yeah, so I guess we're just never gonna cast these stalking shadows. Probably, because I think I only have champions left, right? So I should have yeah, except two other Maokai's and two Azir's. So yeah, I, I only have champions left. So I I tossed everything that I could have grabbed. No, yeah, so it, it's. It's Azir. Azir is the thing that gets the champ the Emperor's deck, right? Yeah, so they can't get the Emperor's deck. No 
surrender. Oh no, like we'll we'll be able to recycle our champions. We won't mill out. We'll be fine. Still me going to 20. I'm not going to lose any cards from Scarab. We don't have anything to toss. You can only... You can't toss champions. Huh. Okay, well. It does make my life a little bit more difficult. Because that 2-4 uh, that was what I was planning on. You know, I was planning on draining them out with that 2-4. So right now they have three cards. Next turn two. So they have, they have one attack to kill me. And so, I was, I was debating on whether I wanted to go with the Ruination or just go with this Azir plan. And, and I think I want to go with the Azir plan. This would have been easier if I had the 2-4 to still drain him. That was kind of my plan, just to have the 2-4 still. We've got things to do. Arise. And there we go. Some sand soldiers. Alright, 2-2. Two two. We got our backup plan with Neverglade Collector drain, drained him a bunch and then sand soldiers. The backup plan. I do need to go back and retry that, the um, Kindred Maokai deck. As, like whenever we did that, I, I do think that Kindred Maokai control can be really good. I think there's a lot a lot of good stuff there. Okay. All Shirima with Sivir. Sivir Shirima. I'll keep all this. Withering Whale. So it's like. Are they going to be all about the Sand Soldiers, right? Because, like, Withering Whale is good against Sand Soldiers. Is that going to be something that they're going to be all about? I don't know. They're all Shirima. There's not, you know, like, there's not a ton of cards you can play in Shirima, and so Sand Soldiers could certainly be something that they're all about. You'd think you'd be playing Azir? Oh no, they made my Sea Scarab vulnerable. Whatever shall I do? So yeah, there's no Sun Disk in their deck. Like, they didn't grab a Sun Disk. So demanding, you will witness. What well, if you don't want to? Well, too bad, you will witness. Okay. 
That was a great stalking shadows. Like these are all awesome. I would like I would like all of these cards. I'll take this one. Dissident. I just kind of wanted to see what what that'd be before I made my decision on what to. What to block? Five. I make it difficult to click out of here. There, finally. <laughs> it doesn't click out of there very easily. Well, I was going to go Spirit Leech. Maybe just go the other Warden Spray now. Yeah, I'll just go the other Warden Spray. Well, yeah. What? I'd rather do one damage to the Psy Scout than one damage to you. Glorious Judge me? So many cards. They're all so cool. It is time. I have risen and weakened Sharima. Alright, Maokai, where are you at? We need to mill them out. Alright, you're only at seven out of twenty-five. I'll work on that. Where are you? Do have plenty of cards. You have plenty of cards. See, so yeah, I don't really want to attack with Mentor, or don't really want to, yeah, don't really want to Mentor the Stones and put all these gems into my hand. No, never Glade. What do I think about Yasuo? I think Yasuo is really cool. Yeah, Yasuo is a really, a really cool champion. Um, Yasuo struggles with a couple of things. Mostly, Yasuo is in Ionia, the worst region possible. I think that's kind of like the big thing. Is Ionia just doesn't have the same kind of like combat tricks and removal and interaction and all that kind of stuff and, and card advantage that other regions do. Ionia is kind of all about River Shaper right now. Come, we have an empire to build. All right, fine. Think about playing Glimpse Beyond. That would make my life a little bit more difficult. Ooh, really glad I didn't. All right, we got Neverglade Collector. Yeah, Yasuo is a really fun champion to play. Attack, give enemies minus two, minus one, or minus two, minus zero this round. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that too much at all. Not cool. We'll find Maokai somewhere in here. <laughs> Maokai, AFK. There we go. We're deep. Okay, 
Okay, so we are at 20. Arise. Accept oh no. That card's scary. Really Get out of here. So one mana short from being able to go Withering Whale to bust up Spell Shield and then also Black Spear. Should be doing some Nexus healing here. Dead Bloom Wanderer, heal four, and then Neverglade. Do some draining. Oh, I do have eight mana. Why did I think I had seven mana? I do have eight mana. How about that? Does this get through Spell Shield, the Spirit Fire? It does not? Okay. So, but if I do play Spirit Fire, it would kill this thing and get rid of the Sivir. No, I'm just going to do this. I guess this Blood Mane is kind of scary. All right, deck gone. Cards left four. Yeah, Neverglade really Collector has been pretty awesome. No, I don't, I don't like that. Business as usual. No. Fight, fight, fight. I like my Neverglade Collector. That makes me sad. I, mean, I guess it. I guess I block with this thing. All right, so I take six, go to fourteen. I only have three cards left to kill me with. Alright, let's see what we got. Another Azir. Alright, let's challenge you. You can attack and do some stuff. You can attack, you can attack. Sure, you got regen, you can attack. Go ahead. Listen to me. Quicksand. They don't care about keeping their Sivir alive, but I guess they have to keep themselves alive because that was lethal attack. Does that make sense? So will they be able to kill me? It seems fairly unlikely that they will be able to kill me. Alright, so we know that that card in hand is a spell. No champions left out of the one card. 
Alright, that'll do. Yeah, because they, they had that one last turn to try to attack and kill me. So that, that game really kind of showed off our deck. We have, like, the Maokai milling them out, putting pressure on them, like, where they only have a few certain number of turns to kill us. But then we can also go wide and have a bunch of things die and have our Neverglade Collector really do all that chip shot. So Neverglade Collector looked awesome. I think I'd want to play a third one of those. That, that looked awesome. And honestly, for how those games played out, I think I would cut a Stalking Shadows, honestly. Like, we we never... We, a lot of times we just didn't have time, really, to play Stalking Shadows. But I could see getting rid of a Spirit Leech also, of like the same kind of thing. But the Spirit Leech did, could be like a, a draw two and turn on Maokai with a toss and turn on Sea Scarab with a toss. Or kill a Thorny Toad and toss and heal too. Um, I think it's probably one of those two, but I think we do want a third Neverglade Collector. But e either Spirit Leech or Stalking Shadows. The card draw was helpful for sure. But then we saw that like once you get to like the late game, the Stalking Shadows doesn't hit anything anymore. Um, but also just like the, the two bodies and one of them being ephemeral, that was also really helpful of just having like multiple blockers you could throw out there and everything and just multiple bodies with Maokai. So like Stalking Shadows was good, but I liked everything else. I mean, I just, I just think that collector drain is just so valuable. All right, maybe two Stalking Shadows. So yeah, maybe, maybe try that. That's, that's what I tried. Take out Stalking Shadows for a Neverglade Collector. Because that collector drain, really, really valuable. All right, but this was a fun one to play. So yeah, you know, you want to do something different with Maokai. Um, this was a fun one. I think that there's a, a lot of potential here. I think some of those losses, like having another collector be able to help drain and stuff, would have would have helped. But um, yeah, this was this was you know fun. Sit back if you like, you know, sitting back and letting the game come to you, and just setting up a board state where you just try not to lose, and then you you pressure them in in two different ways. Either you're going wide and getting in your damage with your sand soldiers and your Neverglade collector. Or you mill them out with Maokai. And then just hold down the fort while they draw their last four cards. So there it goes. Another cool, unique deck. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, let me know if you got other deck ideas you want to see for next Meme Tier Monday or anything like that. I would uh, love to hear them. All right, but that's all I got here for Azir Maokai. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.